There is a sound detectors. Get alerts when your phone hears a doorbell or baby crying. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've got Samsung One UI installed on my Galaxy S9. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so this is the latest beta that was released actually last night. Alright, you can also get the latest updates. You can install this as a custom ROM on any Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus Exynos models. If you have a rooted phone with Torp Recovery installed, you can go ahead and install this. I'll have a full tutorial video on my other channel, Hi on Android. And also, you can sign up for the beta and get it without root. So there's two ways to get it. But today, we're going to go ahead and just go over the ROM version, which is really nice. First of all, nice thing with the custom ROM version is that you can go ahead and map your Bixby button to anything you want. I've got it mapped to Google Assistant. And one of the biggest changes, you'll have a dark mode that you can use. So you can enable this uh, in your quick toggles. All right, night mode. So this will give you dark theme everywhere where it's available, um, such as settings. Um, it's not going to work on the apps. Also, if you turn off auto rotate, you'll get the latest Android 9.0 uh, feature where it's locked in. For example, let's say you're reading a website and or YouTube or whatever and you turn it sideways and you want to turn it then you can manually turn your phone all right and it will lock it in there that's one of the new Android 9.0 pie features I don't really use that that much but when you're on the bed and stuff it can be very useful it will lock you into portrait landscape so so that's kind of cool there's little things they've added here all right if you go into fingerprints now you can go ahead and check out of fingerprints so for my left hand, it's going to check as fingerprint one, right? And you can go ahead and check fingerprint two, right? Fingerprint one, fingerprint two. So after you register fingerprints, you can find out which finger you registered. Maybe Samsung is working on additional features. If you use another finger, it's going to sign in as a new user, sort of like what Huawei and Xiaomi you can do with those phones. Other interesting stuff I've found, go into the accessibility and go to uh, audio enhancements. There is a sound detectors. Get alerts when your phone hears a doorbell or baby crying. Baby crying detector. <laughs> doorbell detector. <laughs> um, so for those of you having babies, um, Kevin the Tech Ninja is having a baby right now. This could be very interesting. All right, so if you turn that on, I'll just turn it on for fun. Now it'd be really cool if they had bark detector. Cause my do dog's barking all the time. Um, so doorbell detector and baby crying detector. That's that's interesting. I, I thought that was really interesting. Not that we need it. <laughs> so with Android 9.0 Pi uh, Samsung UI beta, you'll get some new always on display clocks. And you can find that under settings, display, always on display, um, clock style. You can go ahead and choose between always on display or lock screen. And let me just go ahead and go through some of these um, more clocks, 3D clock. Um, this one's actually my favorite, digital clock, analog clock, more different analog clocks that you can choose from. Um, of course, you should be able to download um, later on new ones. Also, this one shows uh, more of the calendar, car wash, um, actual calendar. You can put it on the side, change the color. Also, let me go ahead and show you um, lock screen styles, different lock screen. Um, let's go ahead and choose this one. And there's a lock screen. So nice option of new lock screen and always on display clocks. All right, the keyboard also has gotten dark. Even if you turn off on the dark mode, it's kind of nice. I like this keyboard. And there's different modes, uh, one-handed mode, floating keyboard. All right, floating keyboard is going to be real nice for one-handed use. All right, you can put it exactly where you want to. That's sort of nice. Now, one of the biggest things uh, is obviously the gestures. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gestures here. So it actually supports the new Android Pie navigation from like Pixel 3. So you can actually drag from home to the back button or to the right and it will switch to the previous app, all right? And also you can use the recents. I think this is actually a smart aware where Google has got rid of the recents button, but you have two options. You can use the new feature or you can go ahead and tap on it. All right, there is also um, to use 
full gestures if you want. And you can find that under display navigation bar. And if you enable full screen gestures, it's going to have these three little bars at the bottom. So if you want to go home, just swipe up from the middle, um, swipe to the left for recents. And let's say um, you want to hit the back button. You can go and hit the right, tap the right key. All right, that'll go to the back. Now, only one problem with this gesture I don't like is that you can't quickly switch between two apps. You have to go to recents and then you have to switch. All right, whereas with the navigation buttons, uh, with the Pixel 3 method, you can just do that and it will switch real quick. I think that's actually the fastest way. Switch, switch. Or before you could just hit that twice. Switch, 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 switch. I don't really like the full screen gestures. I don't think this is the final version. I hope it's not because there's no option to switch between apps, which I use the most. Um, edge panels haven't really changed much, right? Also, let me show you the gallery real quick. This is what I got. Uh, and Tutu scores. That's 252,000. About the same as Android Oreo. This is on Exynos, by the way. Snapdragon is, I think, a little bit higher. And Samsung Health works for rooted phones if you install this, which is really nice. Samsung Pay will never work on a rooted phone, guys. It'll permanently uh, make you not be able to use it. All right, if you swipe to the left, you'll see Bixby. I don't actually really like it that much. There's actually no option to get rid of it now, which I don't like. So that one part I don't like about it. <laughs> Why? I don't want your Bixby. Uh, lastly but not least, camera layout has changed a little bit. The options are at the bottom now. As far as the settings menu, right, pretty much same thing. One thing that's new is screen optimizer. This will pretty much pick the best colors based on um, the scene. I'm not really a fan of it, but sort of like AI mode. Let's go into shooting modes. And you can go ahead and see all the different shooting modes. So if you go into camera modes, there's an option to keep using last mode which I really like. That way, the next time you use a camera, if you use a pro mode often, it's gonna keep using that. So I like that little feature there. There's a new flaw detection. If somebody blinks or if there's blur in the photo, you'll get notified. Um, battery life has been pretty good, so definitely check it out if you have a rooted Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Again, you can also get this by signing up for Samsung One UI beta. Um, but if you're rooted, you can go ahead and install this, and you can also get updates pretty easily. I have a full tutorial on how to install. Check the description below on how to do that, and have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here.